I failed. It's over. It's my life's done. Oh. Is it okay to 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 give up? No. But the thing is, even when you fail, there's always ways to kind of pick yourself up mm. and almost get around it. Yeah, it's a feat to fail. Hmm? Whatever you fail, then you need to overcome. It's that one thing. Yeah. And I think like what? if you let that one thing get into your heart or into your mind right. in life, it can ruin you. Like mm. that thing affected me on major level. Check one two. Check one two. I think we're ready. But wait, who's talking? I don't know. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Way Too Stalking with me, Matthew. Wait, no, it's not a Julius Sand. Yeah, it, I'm so happy for everyone being being here. And for those people that liked the last video, commented on the last video, and also shared their opinion and their advice. I think that video is close to 80 views. But besides that, let's get the person on that. It's not 80,000 views, it's 80 views. But today we have a special guest all the way from close to Berkeley, even went to Berkeley. That's a Unite supporter. I, oh, it just seems like every night supporters on this on my streams but it's the main man the the, the joker no fish a a b b c d e f g <laughs> i was thinking to throw me with the cap <laughs> my time is up my time is now why not why are you just lip in it almost like you don't know the song <laughs> <laughs> He's still dancing. Welcome, welcome to the, <laughs> welcome, welcome to the, the podcast. Welcome to, podcast. Welcome to the podcast. We've been trying to get this guy on for ages. It's not your podcast. It's not your podcast. Stop it. <laughs> Stop on. it. Stop on. it. Stop on. it. Stop on. it. Calm. You calm it's down. Okay. You calm down. I'm sorry. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> okay. How, how have you been? How have you been? What have you been up to? What have you been up to? <laughs> why, what, why are you asking questions? I'm I'm the host of this. Look, the camera's the cam the camera's facing me, man. It's not facing you. Is that what you want to do for this episode? What? Just like fight. swap it all. No, no, no. no okay, I'm... yeah, you can be the host. <laughs> I don't want these shoes. I don't want. I'm just happy to have you. I just I don't want these shoes. Thank you to move this. Take my shoes out the shot. <laughs> it looks so weird. It's like to see two shoes. This is my shoes. <laughs> this is not your room. No, throw that way. <laughs> it's now in underneath it. Yeah. But anyway, welcome, welcome to the, welcome to the stream. Thank you. Uh, how's your day going? You, you move, it's, you move that way. Oh, you gotta move back. In that way. Go that way. Go that way. Yeah. It's exactly like the first time. Yeah. In the first time I happened the exact same way. Um, it's ups and downs, you know. Yeah, we're, just like, we're, we're saying the thing that we, we, we recorded already, but the, the sound was off. So now we're just re reacting this whole thing. And thank you, sucks. thank you, Hunter, the, the, walk, the, the walking, the walking head. I, I don't know what H. The uh, walking H. head. <laughs> That's what I think the T is, or or the, what's it called? Well, the the I don't know. Who is. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So also we the new thing I'm starting in in this thing is uh, rock versus this competition. Just so I'm gonna first. Just because I won, we have to redo this. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna first every guess in rock versus scissors and we'll see how much times I win, how much times I lose, okay? <laughs> and it's the first one to win. So There's no draws of the count. We have to redo it like the same time. <laughs> no, no, Jack, let's go. Are you paying me to lose? Yes, I'm paying you to lose. <laughs> let's go. Rock, paper, scissors. No, don't talk about nonsense. Let's go. Do it properly. Do it properly. <laughs> okay, let's go. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. <laughs> no, no, no. Do it properly. You're not gonna win again. We're gonna play Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Damn it. The streak that on day one. Okay. <laughs> there was no streak. There was no streak. But anyway, welcome, welcome to, welcome to the show. Thanks for um, having me. Yeah, it's, it's really, it's really nice. I've been you for months. Man. Months. It, I didn't even have it. I think uh, my first uh, podcast was a month ago. Like I, I actually, I think there's four podcasts already out. There's, there's one with, there's one with Kurt. There's one with Zach. There's one with Zoe. There's one with Seth. And now the next one will be one of my, my cousin and you'll know, be the fifth one. You'll be the, actually the sixth one, the sixth podcast. At least I'm top five. I top five is number six. <laughs> I'm top five. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just don't, just don't watch the rest. That's, that's how I'm, that's how um, I'm, I'm top five. So actually, what I wanted to ask you, because the sound was off before. Mm. So Matthew's cousin had a problem with her computer. Or what is she, do? is she studying? Hmm? Uh, she's, she's studying yeah, computer science at she's U, UCT. Computer studying science. And she comes in with a computer, and there's a bunch of hieroglyphics on the screen, like the movies, mm. just codes everywhere. Yeah, it's impossible to read. And she's <laughs> like Matthew, I need help. Just two seconds of your time. No, what? No, did, like, did you say that? Oh, did you see? <laughs> <laughs> did I, did I, did I say that? In like one second. 
<laughs> so I wanted to ask you like, I was, I was, I was, I had no idea you could do this. I didn't, I don't like, fix. Is, and he's talking about codes and stuff, and he's busy typing, and I'm like, what the heck is going on here with I didn't, Python? And I didn't fix the computer. And string one and string two. I was like, what? <laughs> well, the it, heck? She's, it's a first year into computer science, and it's it was just about it, the two variables were, were different. So therefore, I mean, look, she she made the same thing, so she had to just change it up. But you learn it in thing. Like if I if I if to ask you about law stuff, you would just also be like, ah, bro, this is the yeah, law. Yeah, but that was like hectic. I didn't know you could do that. That's what do you mean? What do you mean? mean? Like you did it so easily. I was like, whoa. Because that's not even that. Hard. But that's what you do for the job, right? Uh, some of the, uh, the, the, the concepts and the and the things that you learn kind of uh, filters filters you through. Know, that's cool. Yeah. That's actually very. Cool. When are you? Have you started varsity yet? Have you started varsity? Nah. Once no. you you still get there. Yeah. So when did you start though? Okay. It's your final year. Almost. There more years going One on. One more year next year. Oh, okay, okay. So you're almost excited to, to be done with everything. I don't know if I'm excited to be done because that means I must go straight to work. <laughs> but working can oh, no, be I don't cool. Even yeah. I have to go study again. Oh, I'm done studying here. I must go study at law school again for six months mm. and then I can go work. Oh. But yeah, you, like thing is work can still be still be cool. It can still be like, exciting to exciting to do. Um, yeah, it's exciting, but then I must still go study for the bar exam and the conveyancing exam. That's after you're done studying, right? Before you can become qualified, you must go you must go pass the bar exam so you can be admitted, isn't it? Oh, must you? Is a bar in South Africa? Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, if I want to do You're conveyancing, I must do a conveyancing exam. Okay. So that's oh, that, that's 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 cool. But so that means. But it's like, all after I'm done studying already. So then I must study more. Yeah, but hey, that that's kind of the field that you went in, and at the end of the day. Yeah, like, I love it too. Yeah, and then you can you can be my you can be my lawyer. So when I get cancelled online, you can you can tell better the people. Better call Saul. <laughs> Am I right? No, not better call Saul. So yeah, I messaged you um, in the week um, about and this this is this is the question. Weeks ago. That wasn't weeks ago. So the question that I brought was yeah, um, like it weeks ago. <laughs> it was weeks ago. Okay, so this is how I ask everyone how if if they want to bring a topic, how much they bring a topic. I say, what advice one day would you like to give your kids? Or to let them know what is something that they should live by to to help them. So so what is what is the the topic for for today? What did you? What <laughs> what did you mean? <laughs> um, the topic for today is be fearless. <laughs> no, it's not the topic. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Okay, to fail. Yeah. It's a, oh no no, it's okay to fail. Sorry. No, oh, okay. Don't then. be afraid. <laughs> So it's. It, I feel it, like being afraid to fail is kind of like also like motivation to succeed. Yeah. Because you're afraid to fail. Okay. So the the topic the topic as you're saying is it's it's okay to fail. Yeah. Okay. So why why that topic though? Why like why when I ask you about it? Why did you why did you take that? It could be anything, but you. I just felt like. You got that one up. Um, that was something that I had to learn in life, and that. And it was hard because. I always thought failing is like the final straw, like you give up after you fail, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so hard to like pick yourself back up after that. So I thought, do you ask me, the question that you asked me was, what advice would I give to my children mm. in the future? And that's, because that was something that I struggled with. I was like, you know what, I want them to know it's okay to fail. Because I didn't know it was okay to fail. I thought oh. once you fail, it's over. So it's, you give up after that. Yeah, because uh, this this the especially because I wasn't used to failing. You know what I'm saying? So what you saying? Ah, so no, you saying for I mean, you saying for most of your life, you just you just you were just succeeding. You were just yeah, like the, yes. the winner. Yeah, you, you go out to high school. You yeah. never fail a subject. You never fail a year. You never fail anything. And then you get straight to varsity, and it's different. It's like things start hitting you hard. Oh, so you're you're telling me that only so only yeah. recently it has been something. Yeah, that's why. It's, so that's why it's sort of something recent. Like, oh, and okay. Because I wasn't used to it. It's just like. I failed. It's over. It's my life's done. Oh, I'm like okay. yo, my old my old life's done. It's, it's like you you going to a panic attack. It's like, what the heck? <laughs> no, I just failed. How did I tell my parents I failed? How did I tell people who ask me how I'm doing? How did I say oh, yeah. I failed? It's not it's not something I was used to. Yeah, that that is that and is so true. And the and then but but the thing is, even when you fail, there's always ways to kind of pick yourself up mm. and almost get around it and. Just because you fail doesn't mean it's the end. Yeah. There's always a way to fix it back up, but if you're not aware of that, it's, it's really tough. Yeah. You can't that, accept it. That that is that is true, and that, that's actually some some good advice to 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 give your kids. Cause I I'm not gonna lie, it's getting hot. I know that uh, that's that's kind of a it's it's a hot oh, topic. John Cena it's, a, mode. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hot topic, man. This room this room gets super hot. One day we'll get like a better a better studio that will have aircon and we'll be thankful. But for now, this is what we already gotta deal with. But 
Yeah, like I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Like having that thing of like, oh, being so scared of of failing, and that's kind of, kind of the only thing that you that you think about is like <laughs> your phone phone. Yeah. Um, but I don't, I remember when I was young, like just even that that the level of they say fear because of the sort of friends that you are around, or even just like your the, the point your parents' points of view or something. It's like you. You're more maybe trying to do stuff because you're more afraid of of what other people is gonna say, and not actually what you, like if you can do other stuff or you can't do it. Um, but yeah, so you're saying on, only only so for the in other words for your your life so far you've just been like I've just been boring I've just been succeeding. Oh God, actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've just been like. And I think it was it's been out here. Maybe two years ago was my first reality check, hmm? and I was like, yo, when I first started varsity. Oh yeah. Then it's like. Life is your hard, man. It's like, yo, it's the end. Mm. It's but the end. but it, it wasn't. Man. Oh, no. Actually, no, it wasn't. It was at the end of matric. What? Do you know when you get like, when you apply to universities and stuff, and yeah. then sometimes you don't get in. Oh, then it's yeah. like, yo, it's like you put in all this work, yeah. and usually it's like, you know, high school, you don't ever have to apply, because you're, you're in school. <laughs> you don't have to apply to the next grade or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You just now you go to university, and you don't really know how hectic it is to get in, mm. until you don't get in. And then, then, and it's, then, like, it's, then, it's a, then it's a shock, of course. It's like you do so well, and it's like still not good enough, and it's like, sure. oh, and you feel like a hype's over, because someone said no to you, but other people said yes. <laughs> but it still feels like, because they said no, it's like, yo. Yeah. And that's, that, and that, yeah. that aspect of, of someone just say saying no and yeah, saying you're like not being good enough yeah like basically they basically telling you you're not good enough it's like yo mm. and and, and beat it down <laughs> even even though the other people say yes yeah it's even if one person or one thing says no it's like yo it tells you you're not good enough that thing sticks with you not all the yeses yeah it's the thing that you're not good enough yeah but all I, the people telling you I, I kind of I, I kind of i kind of get that because the the aspect of getting like yes or compliments on things or like saying like Oh, you did well at this, or you were amazing at that. It's it's like it's so mo- motivation. And imagine like everyone is praising you, and it's just like one person that, that doesn't doesn't give you, you that. Focus on that. You focus on the one thing. It's like why the flip didn't I? Why didn't I get that praise? Why did I? What's, what's wrong with me? What's yeah, you. So uh, so that's actually that's actually a, like a good point that like um, let's say not not being like not failing leads that can it can actually because that that's kind of the thing like what that you're kind of saying that's like when you think it back in your life it doesn't seem like i i like you had a lot of failures but yeah. then that one failure came and it was so big so drastic that it like knocks you off your feet yeah yeah and i think that's what happened to me in first year of varsity when when you start failing when you fail your first test <laughs> by like a lot <laughs> and it's like you it's like this is hectic how did that go though? how did that how did that failing on the first days go well, like, obviously it's so like what, what, what subject what subject was it then like did like did you like study give, give me give me the story give me tell, tell, tell me your story tell me okay your story. so check it i ace everything except for one it was general principles of criminal law yeah and it's like seven modules ace 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 then i'm thinking yeah i walk into this one i'm like yeah i'm acing this bro i know how all the others when i got the marks back now it's this one then you get the marks back, you're like yo look at your friends marks they do well and you're like yo <laughs> And now your parents are like, oh, how is it taste? Like, yo. <laughs> yeah, I was like, just yo. Oh, it was your. okay, you know, it was okay. And it's like, and then you go to yourself and you're like, yo. You expected so much better from you. Mm. And now, but this, this, but you can't go back and change it. It's yeah. like, you expected this, you, you, you know you could have done better, but you can't go back in time and change it now. But that is done, the box there on the paper. Yeah. And then you're like, you feel like it's over in that moment. Mm. And then... And then eventually you gather yourself and you're like, you know what, there's still assignments, there's still more tests, I just do a card, I just have to work hard. Yeah. And I think that's the, the tough thing is trying to find motivation in that Ooh, moment. that's, that's nice. Trying that's to a... find the motivation to continue Ooh, and push harder yeah. instead of just settling with the failure. That's yeah, so the, the topic again is it's it's okay to fail. But the thing is when, when you, we say it's, it's, it's okay to fail, that means that, there's, that it's, it's not about... Like it's, it's not, yeah. sta- not it's staying not staying a failure and yeah. it's not about it's not about giving up so it's about hey, it's okay to fail that you can move on from that, point. from that point but like before we even get on to like how do you move on from that point it's like um or like no the the things you do after the the, the failing it's just that you talked about like motivation yeah like that's extremely hard you have to find that motivation you're so. like I, 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 I can't I want to give like examples or something the, the main thing I can I can like, talk about now like oh yeah okay yeah for me the main thing I can only talk and I, I talk just about things that I like that, I've, that I know very well but like for me 
Lou, like when I when I lost Zoe the, the first time in the, the China thing, mm. it felt like your it breaks something. you down. It breaks you down, and regardless, like that's the relationship things, but mm. that's still it's still something that you you didn't succeed at, and you thought like no, this is and it weighs the, on you, and it weighs on every and, aspect <laughs> of your life, and it it's so hectic because it's like it's just like like yo like am I am I good enough? Like how am I gonna do this? And it's like this the problem is. When the the fading thing, it's not. Of course, we talked about the outside influences on it, like other yeah. other people think. But it's more also just about how you perceive yourself in the in that situation also. Yes. Sure, because you can you can. Because you keep telling yourself you're a failure. Yeah. You have, you if if you yourself. if you keep beating yourself down, then it's like. Because literally, the only person that can lift you up is you. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. Uh, and that's what sucks. It's, it's almost like you, it's almost like you're quoting, almost like you're quoting oh. the 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 N, the NF song there now. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> in the in the NF song, that that's kind of kind of oh, like the. Okay, but yeah, I think it's hectic. But what, <laughs> I guess what motivates me in those moments is that I can't afford to fail again. Why? Just because of because the, the people future. around me hmm? it's embarrassing, <laughs> and it's like I can't afford. To feel that way again, because how much worse will I feel if I don't succeed this time? Yeah. I get a sick, like, there's always a way to redeem yourself. Mm. But if you fail that redemption, yeah. maybe, bro, <laughs> it's going to feel much worse than it feels right now. Um, and I know that. And I'm like, and I know this isn't the end of the world yeah. because of the redemption. But I don't know what if there's a redemption after the next one. So, so in terms of... Yeah. I'm talking in terms of exam because you always get the sup. Yeah. So you fail one. There's a second, there's another opportunity to pass. Yeah, but there's, there's not, there's not. Yeah, the, there's life is not, not always that. Like, the, yeah, but also, you, okay, first like talk, in your situation with Zoe. Yeah, that doesn't. Like, there's no, <laughs> there you was, don't know there's a second. Situation. You don't know there's a second chance at know. all. And mm. luckily, luckily for you, there was. Yeah, luckily there was, there was a. And a, doesn't a the failure talk. prepare you for the next one? Yeah, but that, <laughs> so, the, but the thing is, my my thing about the topic, or when when you when you brought it up or when you shared it to me, it, it's it, it's okay to fail. That even regardless of the, the situ, situation that you're in, regardless of its relationships, like friendships, in terms of work, in terms of varsity things, like you not the only the only the only time when a failure is really drastic is when you die. Or if let's say it causes you to, to go to prison. Mm. But even in prison you that's you also you let's say you, you did some also did something wrong. There's also ways to, to come back. And that's why I say death is the if you die before you, before you, so you're fa- you, you let's say you're you're failing do something you said something wrong, yeah. But you always have this, this chance to to get to get back. But you see, it's always about like having that having that motivation to strive and not give up, mm-hmm. because like the topic like the topic says, it's okay to fail, but but like, you need a reason to not to not stay there. Yeah. So yeah. like, why? Let me ask you the question. So like, is it okay to 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 give up? No. You now, why do you say that? You're saying it's okay to fail, but now you're saying it's not okay to give up, though. So what's what's the what's what's the difference between the the two? Like this one is it's okay to fail, and it's like but I just give up. Like what's the what's the two difference? This is between the two. I also guess it depends in the scenario. Because hmm? obviously, like let's say it's something silly, like, and you're failing, give up. Like let's yeah. say let's say you want to go dig for gold in your backyard. <laughs> And you just keep going and you keep going and you, and you're failing because you're finding nothing. Yeah. And I tell you give up. Yeah. But you're like, no, I'm not gonna fail. <laughs> you're never gonna find <laughs> gold in your backyard, like. Yeah. This video, I guess it depends on the context. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's about. I think it's about, in thing. Nah, I can't even say your goals because if your goal is to find gold in your backyard, <laughs> you're not gonna. Find you're not gonna find it. Uh, um, know. you you wanna you wanna put it in a way like. Kind of do things that while doing it, you you can see that it's causing you to fail to find the, like those things. So let's yeah. say, oh, you 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 looking for gold or something, and yeah. and you keep you keep on failing. Mm-hmm. Like you can get to a certain point where you have tried, you have tried oh, everything, and yeah. then when you have tried everything and like, oh, yeah. you've I've dig, I've dug to the center of the Ex- earth, yeah. then it's like, bro, now it's time actually, to give up. Actually, actually, now that you say that, if you're like for an example, this is example. Like your goal is to dig gold, mm. but that's what you want to do. You want to find gold. Yeah. Then don't give up. Give up on giving, searching your backyard. backyard. Yeah, fail in your find fa- a place. Fail in your backyard. Fail in your backyard, backyard. backyard, but don't give up. Yeah. You can because there is a place with gold. Yeah. You just have to go find it. Yeah. You have to go dig in the right spot. You're so, in the wrong spot, but don't give up because there's a spot where there is gold. 
So like inter yeah so that that's actually like a like a kind of good thing because you were saying like oh in varsity uh you uh you you did a subject like you failed the thing but even though you yeah. failed that that exam you didn't you didn't quit the whole law thing in you yes. were like okay screw it I, I failed this one yeah. thing I'm not good at this no nah, you 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 still you still push through you still had the the determination to like to like say okay nah I need to I must have, I might have failed here. Mm. Like that, that that's a failure. But uh, I'm moving on from this point. I'm not gonna stay in this this box of failure. Yeah. I'm gonna move on to but something next. Not only now that you mentioned that, I remembered. It's exactly like we were talking about earlier, right? Like if one negative comment will be mm. on your mind, but you forget about all the compliments. Yeah. Like I passed six other exams with flying colors. Yeah. But flying. the one that I failed <laughs> was the one that stuck with me. Yeah. The one that that caused me to go almost into like a depression because I'm like, yo, I failed. I want to give up. <laughs> It's that one thing, yeah. And I think like well, if you let that one thing get into your heart or into your mind right. in life, it can ruin you. Like mm-hmm. that thing affected me on major levels, and that was a small thing. Mm-hmm. It's just that one, and no matter how many compliments I got or other good marks I got, it wasn't gonna erase that failure. Yeah. So now why? So why is why is one? <laughs> you know, like yeah. So why is one negative? negative thing so much greater than all the positive things oh. um like where, where does that come from is that just n- normal just in in people in people or is it like a society or like a thing that that we are kind of raised raised as have you ever, have you ever thought about do you thought think, about that do you think it's because we always strive for perfection hmm I, I, that, that the imperfections start to affect us like on a deeper level that it it could it could be that because you you always strive to to grow to and grow. oh okay not everyone but some people strive to grow and to become like better and when like you you're aiming for something like you're aiming for a goal like oh I want to get a six pack and then it's like oh I actually gained weight and it's like oh, what the flip <laughs> or do you think it's because you have an expectation on yourself yeah I and, think and that's it's because that's more. you know you can do better yeah. but you didn't. Because yeah. like let's say let's say you try to climb Mount Everest with mm. no training, <laughs> and you yeah. fail, you're gonna be like, yeah, that's fine because yeah. I did it with no training. Mm. But imagine you had the money, mm. the opportunity, and all the training to go, yeah. but you just choose not to go. You slack off, and then you have to hike that mountain, but you fail. Yeah. Then it's gonna stuck with you yeah, because you, you could have done it. Yeah, you could. You have had done the better. potential to be there, but you failed, and you wasted that chance. Yeah, so it's so because you know where you could have been. Mm. So failing is even even worse when you know that you like you could have done could yeah. have done better like oh I could have got better grades if yeah, I cause if, if, exactly I studied, if I studied harder I could yeah. have actually passed it yeah if I studied a different different way oh if I didn't go out with friends like if I if I was if I wasn't focused on other things so it's the regrets you think I think it's more about the regrets then than anything because like a failure doesn't kill you and that's my thing like we we always heard the saying like hey like this it didn't kill you you can yeah like. You can try again. And you can make stronger. Yeah. yeah. So the thing is, why why do we why do we hold on to those like the, the negative things? Yeah. And it's it's more about the regret. And I would say that it is more. I think it's more of your, your yourself in that situation. Like yes, you can get the other people to like to say like yo no yo you're my failure subject yo but yeah, <laughs> yo you, you puppy yo yeah. you weak bro. I think that's what you always expect people to react. Like. Yeah, but, but the, people don't react like that. But the thing is, regardless of that, right? Mm. You don't even need to let that affect you. You can be like, I don't care about what other people say. But the, the the aspect of you actually listening and actually taking that in, you holding it within you, it's it's kind of a, a your it's a you a you deci- a you decision of of holding on to those failures. Huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, and that that's kind of the, the deep thing to be a, for for you to be for you to have the mindset of it's okay to fail. You need to understand that it the person you're fighting is yourself. And not the world around you, sure. If you think about it, because that kind of is what it is. You need to be okay with failure. Yes. You need to be okay with okay. I can't succeed in here, but from this, I will learn from that, and I will strive for something better from there. Mm. Um, because no one, again, <laughs> no, no one, no, you, you, no one, you, no one's slave. So it's like you, you don't, you, you're not, you're not, uh, you don't owe, you don't owe anybody any, anything. It's kind of sick. This conversation is so sad with this or that. Yeah, he's, easy. He's yeah. one is like I don't you don't, I don't owe know. It. I feel like you do. Huh? Oh, in terms of that, um, <laughs> nah, I don't think you do at all. I think you're like you owe me. Nah, I don't think you. <laughs> nah, I I wasn't I didn't choose to get choose mm. get born. <laughs> I choose to get born. <laughs> um, but okay, so now we we talk we we talked about it's okay to fail. 
So it's a mindset thing that we got to change. We we said when you when you when, when you have to have the mindset to understand you can fail. Then we talked about when you do fail, you have to have the motivation to get out of that failure and to move on to other stuff. But now, how do you how do you how do you move on though? How do you how do you when you have that motivation? How do you how do you move you have on to from there? to failure. Hmm? But if you fail, then you need to overcome. Is is that that's the, how you move past? <laughs> is that is that the the only way? Because sometimes now this this okay. This, well, this. obviously in a like let's say a relationship context, mm. you can't go back. <laughs> yeah. you, like, if you if your oh. ex broke up with you, yeah, you can't go back. It's you, like that, that, that it's I'm here to fight, man. I'm here to yeah, fight. Yeah, like, okay, like, yeah. Because sometimes the uh, failing is also the right option to do. So for let's say for mm-hmm. a relationship, for a relationship, like mm-hmm. let's say you're dating someone. And this relationship's not not toxic. working out. But then yeah. that's not failing. That's kind of cutting something toxic out your life. I know, but it's still. Remember, succeeding like succeeding in a relationship oh, is like not, getting getting yeah, married and yeah, have a yeah, family. Yeah. So that that's kind of the expectation that you have in your head. Like, uh, if, and now you feel like you failed in choosing a partner for you. Yeah, it's like you have these you have these regrets. And, and then stuff. you're gonna that's gonna affect your next relationship because you're like, yo, I don't want to go through all of that. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to go through that. The thing I went through in the past. I, I thought I was person. making the right decision the last time. Like. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it, it definitely gets to you. So, like, how do you how do you know um, when failure? Wait, how do you how do you know when failure is? No man, that wasn't a question. The the thing is, is failure's not. Uh, you know, I mean, I I'll say it like this: failure's not always uh, always a bad thing. Sometimes the the world will see it as as a failure, but it could also be the the the, the proper decision to make though. Uh. And I'm not like saying like you should strive for failure. Yeah, I'm not saying you should strive. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's like if you do fail, mm. how do you overcome that? Yeah, mm. like that. That's what, nah, yeah. We already spoke about that, but like, yeah, it's not. We're not saying strive for failure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're not not saying like oh like don't oh, fail, don't like fail. It, it's it's yeah Still like, your yeah. like yeah. that's actually a, that's actually a good point. Like saying it's it's okay to to fail. No, the thing of saying like it, it's don't okay. Don't be comfortable with failure. But yeah, don't don't like don't like like settle for it though. Like yeah, saying like like you can have yeah you you can have you can have the mindset of okay I I can fail and that's fine. Yeah. But the thing is to it's not fine. to not love there of okay I, I can oh, fail all I can all fail. the time. Yeah. The thing is to know that okay I'm I'm don't sure with, I'm with sure with that but I want to strive for something something higher and that's that's actually a, a good advice so let's say I, if I were, and remember this this whole conversation and all these things about things I want to I want to live and want to for for uh, for my children one day and this is also something so let's say you, you tell your child like hey hey boy <laughs> I'm no I'm giving a, a deep voice for you <laughs> but this is you hey 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 son. Like, boy. <laughs> hey boy, get over here. <laughs> <laughs> so you were like, hey, hey boy, like, I know really that some boy. sometimes you will you will try to do things, play soccer and do do work and stuff or, or homework. And it might not, it might not seem like you might not score goals. You might not uh, pass, pass the test with the mark that you want, but it's, it's okay. There's always, there's always another opportunity. Like, you're not, you're not dead. It's, it's okay. It's okay to fail. But however, then you got to say. Cause that's the we can't just put it there. You know, you have to you have to go off with. But don't be okay with failure. So try to succeed. Try to aim for higher. Know that you are, you you can be fine here. Yeah. There's no resentment from me. There's there's nothing that I'm gonna hold you to it. Like oh you you can't play soccer. So now you you pop you weak. <laughs> <laughs> like oh you trash. Like oh you're not my son because you can't you can't get good like grades. Like Bucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh who's Bucky? Bucky Anma. Who the fuck's that? Bucky the Anma. <laughs> oh, you're talking about Bucky the the, the, the small boy. <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? The box the, 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 the anime. The anime, yeah, yeah. The, the boxer and his his yeah. big dad. Yeah, and his dad like hates like you fail. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know that from the show. But anyway. The Or like or like um what's his name? What? The journey. The journey? I don't know. Alexander. Oh, his father like you pop so oh, when he was younger, you know. playing soccer, and then he became a pro. Yeah. And you pull him wrong. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so like the thing of telling your son like, hey, uh, it's okay to fail, but have that mindset of you fail is fine, but don't, but still strive, still strive for for higher, because that that's it's very risky when we tell anybody anything about let's say like when you give advice like failure's okay so then everybody will be like ah i would just i would just love life failures failures fine 
Um, and, and personally, we can see that in today's day and age. Like, people don't care about consequences. People don't care about, like, how it's going to affect the, the future. Because it's like... Man, I'm I'm just I'm just I'm just living life. This is how I do things. If if it's if it's it's negative, uh, it's, it's fine. Our future me will 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 handle it. It's like certain things can lead to failure, but certain people don't even care about it. And that's not being okay with failure. That's just like you 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 putting yeah, yourself you're in a situation. Familiar with failure. Yeah, you, with you, failure. you you're getting comfortable with failure, and that's not what you want. Mm. Now how how do you how do you uh, get into a, a mindset a mindset really? of uh, it's okay with failure, but I'm not. I'm not comfortable. I'm not familiar yeah. with it. Like actually going around and saying, "Yo, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm a failure, man." <laughs> Look at me. Ah, I don't care, but I'm a failure. You no know, people is like, I don't care. Yo, my life's my life's trash. Like, oh, I don't care. I can't get a I can't get a job. Like, you know, people actually like embody that that failure kind of part of them. Do you know say less? Huh? Say less. Say less words. What's that? Shush. Oh. Why did the two? Okay, go. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know actually. Hmm? Once you like in that comfortable mindset, it's obviously because now that's becoming your habit. Yeah. And it's hard to break habits, you know. Yeah, that was all a, a very. So hard. it's like, I that's the whole point about the habits, though. That just has to. You have to basically have the maturity to kind of realize that you're in that situation and kind of try and take yourself out of it by, obviously, maybe like starting good habits, like waking up early, actually opening a book if you're failing school. <laughs> um, I don't know if you want to. I don't know. <laughs> you, have to, you have to have the maturity to kind of like because only you can do that to yourself mm. it's again it's a no one else can do it for you yeah you can't be mommies into that yeah. well you, you can you can get you can get forced into it you might not might not mm, like it though forced how? yeah huh how? so like you still have to decide to do it yeah I know it's, it's still your decision but they, there's this this aspect of of the the, the fear the regret the the, the people saying things or let's say if you uh, do fail let's say if you're younger you'll get hidings and stuff mm-hmm. so they, they no but but then you're still choosing to do it but now you just have a motivation which is yeah it a might fear be. of of what will happen if you fail yeah but it, it's uh, it's always on you though and yeah. that that's 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 one of that's one of uh, a do, thing you think, do you think expectations bring people down or help people it's it's a twofold thing if I hold something over you all the time, like uh, they, they just talk about friendship, mm-hmm. like okay, no, you're not messaging me all the time. Why aren't you? Why aren't you messaging me? Or oh, why aren't you coming over? Why can't I come? Because over you? my phone broke. Maybe <laughs> 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 you threw the phone against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I still get it. <laughs> but like, let's say, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing? Sorry, uh, guys, <laughs> <laughs> just came over me. My sense of that. <laughs> <laughs> but let's say if I let's say I hold expectation over you all the time, like oh, you're supposed to message me. You're supposed to do this. You're supposed to do that and so like why aren't you doing that though you, you trap you know you're not doing this well the thing is with that you could be like oh no like oh matthew wants this friendship to succeed or you could be like man i don't, I don't want this pressure to be in in a friendship with someone so i'm gonna rather i'm not gonna interact with this person at all you can walk away from those things mm-hmm. so some people have definitely like, is that like is that because no, of conflict said, of different expectations yeah, that could be, but it's also the. It's remember, every person is is unique, and that's yeah. also the thing. Like someone can say, like, "Yo, my parents were tough on me," but that was beneficial for my future. Other people can say, "Yo, my parents were tough on me, and yeah. I, I don't talk to them at all anymore. Mm. I don't, I don't want. I, they're not even part of my life." Mm. Now they they could like be. To speak to. Yeah, it's like you 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 wasting your life. You are wasting your time. Like 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 you you hear this in series and stuff. It's like parents saying like you just you just a you just a waste of a waste of a waste of money, and that's that even feels like yo you're a failure. I know, I know it's hard to say, but those those are lines that 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 that's are said, that yeah. are said though. You can even even while saying it, you can hear that your that, yeah. that sounds like like someone to say that say to something, yeah. um, to, to to a person. So, mm. the the thing is, expectations from others does push you, but yeah. it can also it can also be like I don't want that expectation and I walk away from from things. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean now. So it's a it's a it's a kind of it just depends on the type of person you are. Yeah, but you never. That's the thing. You, you can never say when when a baby's born. You can never say like, oh, this, this oh, this gonna baby's be gonna be is gonna be so strong. It's gonna it's gonna carry the the world's problems. It's gonna make a change yeah. in the future, because you don't know. Like let's say even if even if I put a environment around this baby that is gonna grow into like I want it to to be like a role model to the people. The, the baby can be like, you know what, screw you, I'm out. And just walks away. And it's like, bruh, but I, I, I built this whole thing for you to live in, like to, to yeah. help the world. But 
again, as we said, like everyone like, has like a choice. I heard, like I heard someone say once about parents, and they said about expectations and stuff. They said a parent can't live out their dreams through their children. <laughs> that sounds like something I said, man. Because I don't know, I don't know, nah. <laughs> but it was just something they were saying because, like, I think it was someone at our school mm. whose parent wanted them to be like a super good rugby player, but they weren't. Yeah. And then the parent was hard on the child, like always made them like. And do like like after training they'd have to do extra training and the parents would watch them on the field. Or after a match they'd have to do extra even after we just played, you could yeah. make him do extra training. And but he didn't want to play rugby, but yeah. he's and he's like and then one of the other parents said, You can't live out your dreams to your children. Yeah. Nah, that I, that's also <laughs> If there's no passion there, there's no passion. Yeah, yeah there's there's no passion, there's no de- determinant or whatever that whatever that guy says. <laughs> um but that that's that's my thing. Like Yo, that's actually that's actually a good point though. Actually, Thank I actually want to jump over. Actually, huh? Thank you. <laughs> I just want to jump over to that. Like letting your failures impact those people. Let's say, how can I say? Letting failure affect you. No man, how, how do I put this now? Okay, I'll just put it this way. What what's your thoughts on your failure? But now, because you went to that failure, now you, you, the way After that you... This person, huh? about what you went to, I <laughs> So, you've, you've gone through failure, you know what failure, you know what failure is, failure is about. So now, when you give advice to people, you give advice to your kids and stuff, you're talking out of that, I have failed in that situation. Like, do you think that that's like a, a right point of, of you to talk out of? Like, oh, I, I wanted I to be a soccer player. Huh? No, I failed at that. So now, if my child wants to be a soccer player, they should. They mustn't fail where I failed. So therefore, I gotta push oh, them. Oh, so I, I tried to get them where I failed. I tried yeah. to kind of make them not fail. Yeah. So way. let's say you 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 were struggling with let's say uh, let's say working out or something. Oh. I know, like yo, I I struggle working out. So now I'm like, bro, don't do this. Don't do that. Like I'm um, oh. like you like you you giving you like you pushing That's someone like, from the from the failures that you've, you've I think, experienced. I think. It, Everyone's always gonna do that because obviously, you, like especially with the children, you love your children, mm. and you don't want to see them fail. You yeah. don't want to see you want to see them succeed. It's not it's not about a fear or anything. You just want to see them become the best versions of themselves out of love. Yeah. So you don't you don't tell them, um, oh I failed yeah, so you must fail the same way or do this do <laughs> that. Know, yeah. And you don't tell them that out of like bragging or trying to. Tell them that you know better. Yeah. You just want to see them become the best version of themselves and help them achieve that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you tell them that, hoping that they like realize, oh, they just want to see. They don't understand that. Um, you want the best for them. Mm. But you, yeah, I, 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 I get that. But there's also there's an aspect of how does we know we know we know about the advice and opinions yeah. and advice and opinions can help you not fail in a situation, but also. But you also failing in a situation, you also get to learn that, oh, I failed here, I need to do better. So, for for example, uh, you, you failed in, in the test, I failed in like a, a whole course and things. But that actually gave me understanding of why I need to, Same. like no one, no, one can, no one can push me to do anything. And no one's going to get me over the line. And I can't just use like, oh, this is the brain, this is how smart I am. To succeed, I need to actually actually go learn and if you go study to 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 pass the test. So so that's the thing. If we if so, this is my question. If we block people from failure, it's like oh, I don't want oh, you to fail here. Like I don't like oh um don't don't uh don't uh go out to 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 your friends' houses because like I that that I I like I don't want you to go out because let's say they someone had a baby. Before they got married or something, so now you like you're so scared or something. Oh. So now you you never give that person opportunity not to not to go have a baby before they, before like they they want to have a baby, but you never give an opportunity to to learn from mistakes though. And you see that's that's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I think I see that. I see that. Because how how do you how do you learn uh, if you're just hearing stories? Just hearing stories. Because you can watch you can watch you can watch TV that's all the time, but do, do you learn off of TV? Oh. You don't. You're watching entertainment. So if someone's telling you a story of saying like, "Oh, this is where they failed," it's it's more like a story. You're just learning. You just you're just hearing. You need. There's a lot of aspects of yourself again that you need to click within yourself. True. Um, and people always say faith is good. But then again, I think it depends on the situation. Like imagine yeah. someone who's a drug addict tells you don't do drugs. And you're like, I'm an experience. <laughs> I'm an experience. I, I need to fail for myself. <laughs> but someone who's an alcoholic. Yeah. 
that that recovering and says don't drink because there's side effects and you're like I need to experience that for myself <laughs> yeah I, I get feel you. like there are aspects but yeah yeah for but again for for, for some things is again uh, like a murder or so a murder is like don't kill people and you're like I need to kill someone man. Yeah. I need to I need to experience this I need to experience yeah it's... so but so so you say okay so it's beneficial on on, on some cases and other cases it's not been beneficial it's like yeah. some things that don't some things that does it can't apply I guess to. it depends on whose advice you're taking yeah because if a random stranger comes and tells me like nonsense I'm probably not gonna believe him mm. but let's say you or my like someone like you or like my parents someone close to you whose opinion I value tells me something I'm probably gonna take it more seriously mm. like if you told me don't go drive on the main road tonight Someone like these shootings going on, they're probably gonna get shot. I'll yeah. be like, okay, I'm <laughs> probably not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna do that. But like a random guy is like, don't go drive on the M3, probably gonna get shot. I'm like, yeah, like, yeah what do you know? That, what man. do you know? I don't know you, you know me. <laughs> like, bruh. <laughs> I, I totally I totally get that um, I want to see what else what else you you say, said on the thing because I remember there's some other points you said um, it's okay to be upset about failing and then you also said yeah, that when can. when you fail lean on those around you, you and we haven't will. talked about that yeah we so do you like okay, the, okay I'm not gonna tell a lie hmm? this this is the first time I spoke about the failing thing <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> two years, see, two years. I was, I was holding these things on the inside. Where was, yeah, I was just reminiscing. I think I have a problem with that. <laughs> I don't talk a lot. <laughs> like if something goes wrong, I'm just like, I can fix it myself. Yeah, but I think a lot of people are are like that. But and I think I think that's what helped me at work as well. Because mm-hmm. I obviously I was doing maintenance. Yeah. And obviously I'm when I first started, I'm the new guy. Mm. I must get used to all this stuff. And I made a lot of mistakes. Yeah. And at first I'm like, oh, Philip, I messed up. Like I thought like, oh, Philip, it's over. I need someone else to fix this. And then I remember the boss coming in and was like, oh, yeah, just just fix it. He was like, I thought, oh, Philip, I need to hide this from the boss. He <laughs> kill me. And then, and then it's like, yeah, just just fix your mistake. And then you do it. Yeah. And he was like, so calm about it. I was like, why, why are you upset and all that? He's like, mistakes happen. Mm. Just make sure you fix them. Yeah. It's when you don't fix your mistakes that the trouble it, comes. Yeah. Or and it th- and that kind of made me comfortable with things. It, like it actually helped me in life. Cause I obviously I was painting in maintenance. Yeah. And then um like obviously you maybe the I'm supposed to paint <laughs> white. People looking at the wall. <laughs> 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 let's say let's say the the wall's brown. Mm. And I'm supposed to paint it brown, but I accidentally paint like a white spot. Yeah. Then it's like oh Philip I messed up. Then what maintenance told me is like you fix your mistake. Why go for white paint? Mm. And just repaint it. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. Just make sure you fix your mistake. Yeah. Then, then, then you avoid the trouble. Yeah. If you don't fix your mistake and that paint dries, and when the show time comes, when the people must move to the house and they say, "Why is there a white spot on my brown wall?" <laughs> yeah. Then, then, then you're in trouble. Yeah. But if you just fix that, there's no trouble. Mm. So even though it takes time, it takes time. You must clean up, redo. Yeah. It takes time, but you end up fixing the mistake. Mm. So that's what I think that's what helped me in life as well. It's like it actually helped me a lot in life. And I realized. <laughs> When you when you make a mistake, don't freak out. Don't like, oh, someone else must help me now. Someone else must come fix this mistake. Yeah. Fix the mistake. Take the time. It's okay. Mm. Because if you don't fix the mistake, if you just leave it, the trouble comes. Yeah. That that first perfect in the thing. Like it's okay to first. It's okay to make mistakes. Yeah. But just make but, sure you fix but it. But again, like you can you can fix that mistake. The trouble though. comes when you don't fix the mistake. Yeah. Or the other t- trouble comes is if you if you hide it and lie about yeah, it. Yeah. If you hide it and lie about it. Yeah. yeah. Because then. Then the problem's still there. Yeah. And you're just hearing it and now it's gonna arrive at a later date. Mm. And then it's like Ooh. And the thing is it, it's more it's more about um how it's it's more about that that lying about things, it's how it affects other other people because your your life is normally connected to other people. Mm. Just like oh there's there's parents, yeah. then there's like oh let's say you 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 you, you get engaged or something or you need a job because you like for girlfriends and you wanna yeah. like I'll take it out. But now it's, you you don't you don't put the you don't put those things in mm. place. So therefore, it's like... But, yeah. It's exactly like back to the painting situation. So I work for a maintenance company. If I paint... A, if I... There's a brown wall. If I make a white mark on it mm. and I cover it up and I hide it, the yeah. boss doesn't see it. Yeah. Now new people move in and they see the brown mark. Yeah. I mean the white mark on the brown wall. They don't go to me for the problem. Yeah. They go to the owner of the company. Mm. That means he gets in trouble for my mistake. Yeah. Whereas if I just told him about it or if I had fixed the mistake beforehand... Mm. Then there's no trouble anyway. Yeah. 
He, I don't get blamed for the mistake. He gets blamed for the mistake. Yeah, yeah. and that's that's kind of the thing of your your that's now. That's actually a good point. Yeah, I actually I was actually saying it now that your your uh, failures and and mistakes can Fix affect other people. You, yeah. yeah. And that's it. Yeah, I like. Yeah. It so it's you need you need to also understand where in 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 certain in certain things there is actually responsibilities where you where you can't actually just fail and just be okay with failing. Yeah. Sometimes there's actually responsibilities on you where you where where uh you you decide you you accepted that responsibility you decided to go work by the by this so place so you have that responsibility I'm working by this place I can't just be like it's not just for me yeah it's I'm carrying the name of the company yes and but you you you, you took that responsibility <laughs> so therefore it. you have that responsibility so at, actually at that point it's not okay to it's not okay to fail maybe you can't do it so then ask for help find find things out but because you took the responsibility of doing of working mm-hmm. here you 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 wanted to work there so therefore now you you need to make sure that you you succeed you need to make sure you complete the task yeah. even if you can't yeah. get someone else to help you out even if even if even if they fire you afterwards <laughs> Yeah. You still you still need to fix your problem. Yeah. <laughs> you know <what>? you, yeah. <laughs> you're so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Take over the government. Say that loud again. Yeah, you need to say it loud. <laughs> okay. But now that you say that, I was like, sometimes when you fail, it's your first time failing in that area. Ooh. So when you ask for help, someone can teach you how to fix the problem. Yeah. And then you when next time you fail in that area, you already know how to fix it. Yeah. Because sometimes failure is your first time. Mm. But someone can show you how to fix it if they failed it before. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> I just, I just, oh, I'm spitting balls. <laughs> I'm spitting balls. Oh. The phone again. Stop putting put your phone. Put your puppy <laughs> Why do you think, put your phone on, over there? Why? I thought you broke the chain now. I had like a whole notepad of Matthew's phone calls. Things I wanted to say. Um, I have to peep. You, so this, okay, wait. I prayed for this podcast, bro. Yeah? I was the first guest on this podcast... To bring snacks and no one and we didn't eat from the snacks. No one's ever bought snacks on the podcast. I was the first. Matthew's never had a guest where who wears glasses. Seth, yeah, didn't Seth wear glasses? He never wore glasses on the oh, podcast, okay. so it doesn't count. <laughs> I was the first. Matthew, I was your first. We were the. You were the first. I was your first. You were the, fir- the first. The pe- first person to to, to, to first. have to have some to have energy drinks. I was Matthew's first. No, you weren't. no. <laughs> I was your first. No. <laughs> I was. Mm-mm. That's there. Yeah, I just said it. Well, I'm gonna. It's I'll, officially canon. I'll block it off. Yes, yes, my thing. First guest of classes. Wait, wait, what's actually what did it? First guest to bring snacks, and he didn't even open it. <laughs> but open it just now. <laughs> kind of rude. Um, this play awkward with legacy. No. <laughs> there was a. There was something that I wanted to. Ah, oh, damn it! Now we are talk. Wait. What are we what are we talking about before we we, we, we talked about the first thing? Um leaning on people. Hmm? Like leaning on people when you fail. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think it was something Wait, that, before I before I did that thing what I said. Yeah, no, you, you said you said something and I just I, I Oh when you were like you Yeah. Because you was I when, when when you fail, it might be your first time failing. So you yes. ask for help Yo, thank with someone else. Yo, good, good, good memory. Top good G, memory. Top okay, okay. Let's not let me not get distracted because I'm my my forget the thing. But do you think it's okay to fail in the same thing over and 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 over the exact same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over? Is it okay? Is it okay to fail if you're failing the exact same thing? Einstein over and over and over over and over and over and over and over. Einstein once said, "Doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting a different result is insanity." But is it okay to be insane? No. I don't think so. <laughs> I think you have a certain amount of opportunities. And if you fail and fail... Okay, but like... It's different though, because let's say... I don't think it's okay to give up, but you need to exchange something. Because imagine you're going for your driver's test, no? Mm. I know people who've failed their driver's test like seven or eight times. Mm. Imagine they just fa- gave up, because they failed, 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 failed. Yeah. They shouldn't give up though, because you need to drive license. Yeah. So maybe they should just start doing something different. Yeah, but I think you should change your routine if you keep paying the because something's yeah, wrong with you. But now you see you you something's wrong with you. Yeah, but now you you giving you giving an answer you giving an answer to the 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 failing over and over and over. I'm 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 not asking about what you need you think to do. It's okay. Yeah, I'm asking. Do you think it's okay to just continue failing in the same thing? Sure, but <laughs> so for example, for, let me give give me, let's give an example. You know that uh, let's say. Um, you getting you getting drunk is a problem. Yeah. 
But then now Crazy it, 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 does, it doesn't need to now this doesn't need to matter where you are. Does it you can be at home, you can be at a club, you can be let's say at the camp or something, but you know being you being drunk is the problem. But then you continue getting drunk. It doesn't matter about even even if you are alone, let's let's say it's not it's not peer pressure. It's just yeah. uh, just about you don't when you get when you get you you're getting drunk is a problem. But then you continually get get drunk. Mm. Continually. You think oh it's okay. You think it's okay just to, to fail in this the same area. Over and over. No, I don't think it's okay. I don't think you should stop. But <laughs> you shouldn't. I'm... You shouldn't stop failing. No, <laughs> no, no, no. What you failing at? I don't think you should stop it. But you, it's not okay to keep failing. It's never okay to keep failing. Okay, so so the so the title so the title so the title is not, not it's not it's not, it's not okay it's yeah it's not okay to fail it's that's not the title the title is it's not okay to keep failing <laughs> it's like the keep needs to be part there. Yeah, because I think that that brings us back to our our previous point. Mm. You've become comfortable with failing. Yeah, you accept. You've become comfortable. You become lazy. Mm. You, 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 you like my like uh, you are lazy. <laughs> you. <laughs> Why are you watching this podcast? <laughs> go go work. <laughs> um, the the thing of embodying your embodying your failure and saying that's just a part of me. I don't I don't like I don't like. I that. don't think that. Yeah, because if if you allow if you can change and you want other people to to change, then why, why do you did think? Why you kiss your sister? Huh? Huh? What? <laughs> don't say nonsense, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even denying it. <laughs> I knew it. Why are you your sister? Siblings are dating you. Siblings are dating you. You and your brother. I know. I know. Close. Call your sister ugly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, so yeah, I, don't, I also don't think that failing over and over in the same thing is, is beneficial. And some people think it's, it's just fine. But then, no, you know that you're failing this one area over and over. But then you don't you don't change you know people some people don't change anything about them. Now, why why don't people change when they know that they're failing in something? I don't know why people do what they do. No, everyone everyone makes their own choices in life. Everyone makes their own choices in life. Mm. I'm responsible for my decisions. You're responsible for your decision. We meet up. Yeah. Um. So that's just the that's the one thing. The, uh, I mean, we also said yeah, that it's, of, it's okay to, to lean on, on those those around you. Um, How much can you lean on others though? It depends on who you lean on. You don't want to lean on someone who's... But like let's say there's that person who keeps failing and failing and failing. Things mm. it's okay to fail. And you go to them for advice after you failed. They're going to keep... They're going to kind of encourage you to fail mm. more than succeed. Yeah, but that, that's, that's, kind of on the, that's kind of on the point of be... Uh, be cautious of who you get, yeah, advice, who you get from. advice from. Now, the the question I, I want I want to ask is, should you be okay to uh, should 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 you should it be okay to always go for others go to others for help? No, I think you can fix stuff on your own. Oh, um, oh so you saying you saying you, you can? I'm saying what if someone doesn't do that? Let's say my mommy did everything for me my whole life. Yeah. So now when I get into adulthood, it's like oh, I need somebody to do that that same thing for me. It's like I, I can't do it. I'm always gonna go to other people to uh, do stuff for me because I've I've been I've been I've always asked for help. But then you become I think you become Zoe's problem. Yeah. And then Zoe kind of has to let you do it by yourself. So there's a level of leaning on the people that you can yeah, do. Yeah, you can't depend no, there's you can't you can't depend on them. Oh okay, okay. You can't depend on them to fix your problems for you. Okay. Um, um but yeah, time. so 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 in terms in terms of the topic, I just think that uh, like we need to um like people need to get to to the point where it's like they they okay with with like let's say okay with 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 failing, but then but not not stay like as we said like fa- failure is fine but don't stay in your in your failure at all, and like try to try to push on and get yeah. like get like past it because. You failure can lead you down like a path, and you you can have regrets at the end, and you don't want to have regrets at the end of of everything. So. Like try 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 better to 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 succeed and don't. Mm-hmm. Also, another thing is don't let other people's like let's say expectations affect affect you. Yeah. Too yeah. Too um. So. So yeah, that was that was, that was a good topic yeah. and yeah.
thank you so much for for being on the podcast. Thank you so much and, for having me. And it was bringing, a great chat. And bringing in, bringing bringing sweets that we didn't eat. <laughs> that we didn't eat. Now I'm gonna watch him play Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> Lie. Lie. Not on stream. <laughs> Um, and yeah, guys, just make make sure that you 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 try your best in life so that you, you don't, don't you follow don't follow me on Instagram, <laughs> follow me on Twitch. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a I'm show me. It's an intellectual. <laughs> so so yeah, make sure you you go you go check out you go check out no on all these socials. I'll put the Instagram thingy with you somewhere over here. I'll I will accept the things. <laughs> <laughs> my my account is private. Oh, my secret TikTok. Secret Not anymore. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, guys, if if there's anything else you want uh, us to, to talk about on the podcast, or you want you want to know back on something, then then let, let us let us know. Let us know what 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 you want us to to talk about, and we we will talk about that. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Like uh, remember, guys, if you if you like this, then leave 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 a like. If you want more, I was then, wondering then, how you did that. Then, <laughs> then uh, subscribe and yeah. Um, one thing that I also want to do is having no, don't do it again. It's like because I have to cut it out if you do it again. Um, they also one thing I want to do is have like a, let's say do like a podcast and people call in and ask questions and have conversations. So. Like yeah, if if you guys want to, if you want to join the the WhatsApp uh, way to talking talking group, or if you want to get onto uh, chats with me, so we can talk about things. Like yeah, just let me know in the comments below. And yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, No, for for being here. Thank you for being here. Yeah, I thank you. I'm always here. I hope that Matthew get back soon. Guys. Yeah, let's, let's hope No No comes back soon. He comes but, up, and we'll see how good. Yeah, but guys, like always, stay safe. He's just coming out peace, before after you get married. Peace out. Cape Town. <laughs> <laughs> Bada bing. Bada boom. Bada boom. Um, the way we end off these these episodes is... Hey, yo, uh, it's your boy laid back. Back with another, no. <laughs> another, another review. review. Cape yeah, Town. Down. You up the bed. <laughs> Bada bing. Bada boom. <laughs> okay, so that you actually did the proper thing. You have to walk off, off the screen. And you walked off beforehand. Okay, I'm walking this way then. I want your puppy in the uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense you're doing. Quit, quit the stream, quit the stream. Check one, two, check one, two. I think we're ready. But wait. Who's talking? I don't know. Hey, it's not a Julius, yeah? Hey, it's a City Blazer. Yeah? Hey, it's no. Hey, it's Tenashi. Hey, Katie. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm. For more? For more, stay tuned right here. Right here. Right here. To wait, who's talking? To wait, who's talking? To wait, who's talking? To wait, who's talking? Wait, who's talking? Bada bing, 